Go ahead and put attached. this in the bottom. You want to put this in the Can bottom? Can we go ahead and get this attached yet? So it's going to go up into space. It's going to reach its highest altitude um, in about as high as it's going to get in 30 minutes or a little bit longer than that. And it's probably just going to um, stay up in the atmosphere for about close to 90 minutes. And it'll probably land about 50 to 70 miles from here. So it's probably going to, like I said, it's going to go up into space 15, 10 to 15 miles high. And actually, we had four containers built. And the parachute this is right there on the ground. Um, it's going to be wrapped up inside the container, so when it's coming down, it'll catch it and bring it down to a um, going a little bit slower. It's probably going to land in a tree somewhere, so I mean that's what we're expecting. Um, we sort of avoid it from landing in any rivers and lakes, but if it lands in a small creek or nothing, it's not that big of a deal. And the containers are waterproof. Um, and how we're tracking it is there's um, Mr. Harrelson had an old iPhone. We put it inside, and we have an, an application that's letting us track it from the. Um, we're putting that inside, it's going to let us check it from his computer and we'll find out where it lands within about a mile radius. It's really cold up there, so we have hand warmers in the side to keep it warm while it's up there. How much more do you think, guys? Uh, we got a good bit more. Not I don't think it's enough. Hey, let go one second, Christian. Huh? Let go, Let go guys. one second. Okay, grab it. Grab, grab it. it, grab it. Can't get it in enough, and it's too heavy. Container. We'll just attach the inner container. Oh, it, it is. See, look, this it's already one? tugging on it now. Mr. Dustin's tired. This, I see, like, the right one. Mr. Dustin, countdown? Yep. All right, should we count? Should I count? Ready, everybody! Go up! Y'all let it go. All right. Come on, come on. Get Be your careful. All right. Gently. Call All right. for a 10. Call for a 10. All right. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on, Different. It really is. So we've been studying physics for the past semester, so it was kind of a nice spin on things. But it was I, li I like to do it. I, I, I really enjoy doing it, and I hope we'll do more things like this. And I love how Mr. Harrelson is more. He likes to do more physical things than yeah. just read out of a textbook. So this was a great way to learn. He's a lot more hands-on than a normal teacher, and we I really like that fact about him. I, I love the, like, the tension building up. It's it. like, oh my god. Oh, when we were down there working on it, I mean, yeah. you could have. I only wish I could have gone with it. Over there! Oh, there it is! Oh, wow. It's really hard to see. Oh, I see it! Yeah, it ended up being two small little uh, holes in the balloon, but we can still track it, I think. So. It's so tiny! It's awesome! Where is it? It's right there! It's up there, Who Sam. Who thought of this? <laughs> Woo! I hope that they kind of see that you know science is all about trial and error and, and failure and so is life and you know the scientific method is such a a wonderful thing to keep in the back of your head as you you do anything in life and uh, you know all this was a process and we we all learned from each other and we all borrowed ideas and shared ideas and you know came up with incredibly original ideas <laughs> so uh, you know it's 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 fun to see 13 to 14 year olds really uh, investing themselves in something for three weeks that uh, you know it's completely impossible but. Uh, achievable if you sort of do what you need to do.